I'm out here at the Chelsea Piers Skate Park, which I've never been to before. Meeting up with my friend uh, Brett Conti. He's making a video out here about the Chelsea Piers and invited me to come with him. So it's doing a little bit of uh, skateboarding and then we're gonna go in and shoot some golf balls. Shoot some golf balls? Hit some golf balls? I don't know, I don't sports, but that's what we're gonna be doing. So I'm just gonna be hanging out with him and uh, hitting some golf balls. Chelsea Piers uh, golfing? What is what is this place called? Chelsea Piers golfing. It's an actual <laughs> golf course, but you get to whack some balls into the Hudson River. Yes. This is my friend Brett. He's a YouTuber as well. If you don't already know, you can uh, check out his channel. He's actually making a whole video today about what you can do at Chelsea Piers. So if you're curious, go check out his video. Learn all about it. But right now, we're just gonna hit some balls. Okay, going for my first whack. Brett, my uh, golf, my golf master, bro. Bend the knees. This, choke up, choke down. Exactly like that. This, guy. farther the butt out, I heard. I think that one went all the way to Jersey. So keep your love close. I've hit some balls. This thing is awesome. As soon as you uh, hit the ball, another one just pops out of the ground. But every single one of my balls is going straight to the right, no matter what I do. This ball thing's pretty cool. You just stick your card, how many ever balls you bought, so 150 or whatever. Just pops up here, we have 140 left. 140 left, yeah. We've already been here for a half hour. So I realized to fix my bad hits, like going straight to the right, I just have to not golf properly. Just uh, don't follow through and they go straight. Just don't worry about what people tell you. It they will never uh, 140 balls later, we're done. I will never forget who you are. I will never forget who you are. We finished up golfing. We walked over here to the first pier to the north. It's really nice uh, grass area. This grass is plush. You don't find grass like this in Manhattan very often. Only on the west side, the rich side. This is the nice side, you get all the nice grass. I don't even want to sit on it and ruin it. It's just so perfect. goodbye but we said goodbye and now I'm on my way to our apartment to meet up with Sarah and see what else we can uh, get into I made it home dropped off the board and picked up my wife <laughs> and uh, we're now we're walking to maybe go find some cheap bubble tea um, we'll probably end up at the same place that we found the other day in the two dollar meal video but we may look around and see if we can find another place but one thing I forgot to mention was that the Chelsea Piers golfing is actually kind of expensive. It's $30 for 180 balls uh, on off-peak time, 96 balls for on-peak time, and you have to rent a club, which is $4 a club. But whenever I looked it up on the website, I was thinking, man, that's super expensive, like $34, $35 per person. But I didn't realize that you can actually share a bay and balls and club. So if you go with two people, you could totally split that and it would only be like $16, $17. And if you're off peak, then you get to share those 180 balls. And between Brett and I, by the time it, we were down to like 40 balls left, we were like, all right, your turn. <laughs> all right, how many do we have left? Like 32, like, are you kidding me? There's so many. <laughs> We 
looking to find the bubble tea and then we saw a sign that said happy vegan and we walked in and they have tons of plants and some planters which we've been looking for if you've been watching <laughs> but also they have some vegan meals and the only thing i've seen so far is eight dollars but that oh you is, saw vegan food though yeah. okay it's like super cheap So they have like pre-packaged vegan meals, which are awesome. It's $9 and $12 was the most expensive one. Um, but all like a full meal, it's yeah. all vegan. Like vegan duck. I don't even, it's confusing. <laughs> also, there was a sign that said uh, vegan meat, free samples. So got a free sample of this jerky. Like just the, ugh, it just grosses me out. Even knowing it's not real meat, it grosses me out. It definitely has the consistency of jerky and the taste, I suppose. I finished that jerky and I am actually craving another piece. So I guess that's a, a good sign that it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Chinatown is our new favorite place to eat. Maybe. <laughs> We have to find something that you'll like. Because uh, yeah. what Maybe you mean? Chinatown is your favorite <laughs> right. place to eat. <laughs> so we didn't end up finding a cheap bubble tea place over there, but we did find a place that has smoothies for three bucks, which I'm definitely going to come back and try those. Yeah. Um, we don't get bubbles or boba in our bubble boba bubble tea, um, <laughs> and so I, I was telling Sarah we could just go to Harper's uh, Bread and get a one dollar black milk tea. Right. She's like, no, I want to go to a bubble tea place because she's convinced that it's different. <laughs> I think it might be different black tea, but I haven't had bubble tea from a, a, like a bubble tea place in a minute, so I don't remember. But I, so I wanna make sure, I guess. So instead of paying $1 for black milk tea. <laughs> We're gonna pay three. Yes. But that's fine, because it's still not that expensive. and directly across the street is this little park that you can sit in. They have a little coffee shop here with tables around. Um, we have to actually be customers of the coffee shop to use the tables. So they we're in this- uh, really cute little gliders from the south. Yeah, I feel like I'm in my, at my grandma's it's house. like home. <laughs> well, so we asked the lady at the bubble tea place if it was different teas or what. And she said that it is different teas usually and the way they make their tea versus the way the Chinese make their tea is different as well. It's like different mm -hmm. strength of tea and such. Yeah. Also, these are milkier. This is definitely milkier. So, not to say I told you so, but... Sarah, you I know right. my tea. But this was $7 instead of $2. Yeah, different. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we finished our bubble tea without the bubbles um, and now we're going to go do boring things like grocery shopping and cooking said groceries <laughs> so that can be the end of this video thank you guys for watching hit the like button subscribe and we'll see you in the next one Bye. So keep your